okay, so I have here a data set I created by going out. You see the ID numbers. I asked 50 students, and I labeled them 1 through 50. So I, I went up and I asked 50 students their height, weight, age. I observed their gender, or I asked them their gender. I asked them if they're full-time or part-time, and I also asked for their race. Some people didn't report. And R means not reported. W for race, W is white, H is Hispanic, B is black, uh, A is Asian, and so forth. Um, this is full time or part time. FT is full time, PT is part time, and the gender F is female and M is male, and NR is not reported uh, or no response. Uh, so let's see. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to create separate histograms for the heights of females and another one for the heights of males, okay? So I'm creating two separate histogram for heights, one for only female heights, one for only male heights. Now the problem with that is, looking at this, I have females and males all mixed up in here. What I want to do is I want to separate the two uh, genders. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight the entire uh, data set. So I'm highlighting all of the data. And then I'm going to come up here to this button up here that has the A and the Z with the funnel. That's the sort and filter button. I'm going to click on the drop down there so I can do a custom sort. So I'm going to select custom sort. And when I asked it to custom sort, it comes up with this dialog box. All right. So let me show you one more time. Above here, you had all these column headings ID, height, weight, age, gender, part time, full time, and race. When you click this and you select custom sort what it does is you can sort by any one of those column headings so if you click this drop down you can sort by ID number which is already sorted by ID number there in order you can sort by height going from shortest to tallest weight um, skinniest to largest age youngest to um, oldest or even by gender now gender is only M and F so what it's gonna do is either gonna put it in alphabetical order going up into the alphabet or going backwards in the alphabet. So I'm going to sort by gender so I can separate the females and the males. I'm going to sort by gender. And A to Z is how I'm going to do it. So F is going to be first. Females are going to be on top. M is going to be second. Males are going to be on the bottom. Then I'm going to click OK. And now notice that the ID numbers are out of order. Well, not totally. The first three are in the same. But look, the ID numbers are now out of order. But now I have all the females above on top and all the males below. And the two NR are on the very bottom. So now I can separate my two data sets. So now they're sorted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sheet by clicking that little plus. So you see I was on sheet one. I clicked the plus sign and it created a sheet two. I'm going to name sheet two by right clicking and then rename. And I'm going to name, name sheet two female. So I know that this only has the females. And I'm going to go back to sheet one. And I'm going to highlight all the data for females. So down to the last F, I'm going to highlight all the data for females. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it over here in the tab uh, for the sheet for females. So I'm going to paste it right here. And there you go. I have all the females separated. All the females have been separated. So now all the females, everybody on this page is a woman. All right, I'm going to go back to my original sheet now. And now I'm going to grab all the males. All right, but first I'm going to take all the, the column headings so that I know what the columns are when I go over to, so, to that. So first, let's see. I'm going to make another tab, another sheet, by clicking the plus again. So I click the plus, and I have a sheet three now. And I'm going to rename that sheet, rename that sheet, male. Male. So now I have a male sheet. I'm going to go back and I'm going to collect the headings for the columns. Copy. And put the headings in. Paste them there. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to just collect all the males. So the males start below here. This is the last female. These are all males down to here. So I'm going to highlight all of those. Let's see. So starting here in this row, that's the first male. And I'm going to highlight all the way down to the last male. I'm going to copy. And I'm going to put here my males. All right, so now I have two. I have my original data set with all the male and female data 
together and then I have just the males and I also have just the females so now I'm gonna go ahead and create histograms all right so I'm gonna go to the females I'm looking at only females now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to look at the females and I'm gonna sort by height because I'm gonna create a histogram for height and I wanna know what the maximum and minimum heights are so I'm gonna highlight everything again for all the females I'm gonna go back to sort A to Z custom sort and in this case I'm gonna sort by height from smallest to largest I'm gonna click OK and now I'm sorted by height so I still have all the females here these are still all females but now it's sorted from the shortest female which was 61 inches to the tallest female who was 73 inches all right the reason I do that is because I want to know what my classes are going to be limited by I don't want to know my class limits all right as a matter of fact I'm gonna to have to tell Excel when I create the histogram what the upper class limits are so I'm gonna create class limits let me see first I need to know how far it is from 73 or from 61 to 73 so I'm gonna do 73 the tallest minus 61 the shortest and I get 12 a distance of 12 well what I want to do is I want to have approximately let's say I want to have approximately five classes that's the minimum number of classes you can make in a histogram five so I'm gonna have approximately five classes so I'm gonna take this 12 I just got I'm gonna divide it by five and that helps me to figure out my class width my class width has to be at least 2.4 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round up to make my class width three so I know my class width is three so here's what I have to do then starting with the number 61 my first lower class limit has to be 61 and then I have to add three to it to get all the rest of the lower class limits so three was what I got for my class width with that calculation I rounded 2.4 up I start with the smallest height and then I just keep adding three so add three I get 62 for the next one or sorry 64 for the next lower class limit I get uh, 67 for the next one I get 70 for the next one and the last lower class limit is actually 73 73 so then these are the lower class limits so for the upper class limits for the upper class limits which are also called in Excel these things are called bins so I'm gonna label this BIN because Excel calls these upper class limits the bins alright bin so my upper class limit let me see if the first class starts at 61 and the next cl class starts at 64 this class has to end at 63 because I'm looking at the height 61, 62, and 63 for this first class. All those heights are going to go in the first class. Anyone 61 inches, 62 inches, or 63 inches will be put into that first group. And then from here, once you get that first upper class limit, you can just keep adding 3. Remember that was the class width that we calculated by rounding this number. Just keep adding 3 and you get 66, 69, 72, and uh, 75 so those are my upper class limits or my bins all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and create my histogram with these classes 61 to 63 64 to 66 and so forth so here's what I'm gonna do now what we have to do now is we're going to go to data analysis so first we have to go to file and we have to add in the analysis tool pack so we go to file we go to options and under add-ins we're gonna add in the analysis tool pack if it's not already added in so I'm gonna highlight the analysis tool pack and click go and then it asks me what do I want I want the analysis tool pack the analysis tool pack VB. I'm just gonna add them all in click OK never know what you might need all right so now I have it added in the analysis tool pack so now when I go to the data when I go to data the data tab so I was on oops, I was on originally the home tab which had all these where which is where my sort feature was and now I'm going to the tab that says data and under the data tab I now have data analysis so I'm gonna go to data analysis and I'm gonna choose the histogram the histogram all right 
the input range for the histogram are the things that I want to count the frequencies of. And remember, that was the height data. So I'm going to click on this little button right here and select all of the height data. Select the height data, the height column. Then I'm going to click this button here. Then it asks for the bin range. Well, remember I said that the bins were the upper class limits. So I'm going to click this, and I'm going to go up, and I'm going to select my upper class limits, the bins. All right. And then I'm going to put the checkbox in the chart output so I can get a chart. And then I'm going to click OK. Oh, I'm sorry, the input range contains non-numeric data. That means that when I highlighted the column, I shouldn't have highlighted the label heights. So let's go back and highlight leaving off the label heights. So there's the input range. And I have to do the same for the bin range. I can't leave the heading there. Upper bin, I can't do that. So I'm just going to highlight the numbers that are the bins. So there, I just highlighted the bins. And now everything should be OK. Chart output is still checked. I click OK. And now it creates the histogram, all right? So this is the histogram of women's heights. What I want to do is histograms don't have any gaps between the, the, the classes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on one of the bars. Once again, what I did is this. I highlight, You see the blue bar? I'm going to put the cursor over the blue bar, and I'm going to right click. And it comes up with all this, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select Format Data Series, the very bottom, Format Data Series. And when you do that, this little window pops open. One of the things under here, if you click on the bars, if they're not already highlighted, you click on the Series Options. And then you can look at Gap Width, and it's 150%. You don't want any gaps, so you take this Gap Width and put it down to 0%. 0%, and then it closes the gap. So there's your histogram with all the gaps closed, all right? So you would then go through and do the exact same thing for males, and you would have histograms for female and male.